Hi there, I'm Kath and welcome to my channel Made by Cathcraft. Thank you very much for joining me today. So in today's vlog, um, it's a bit of a different vlog to my usual sort of fabric haul, sewing plans and makes vlogs. It's a special collaboration um, vlog and it's my first collaboration so I'm really excited about it. But before I go into too many details about what I've got planned um, and who I'm working with, I thought I'd just talk to you about what I'm wearing today. So um, it's another really hot day here in the south of England and um, I've been out on a walk this morning so I'm a little bit <laughs> dishevelled, I've got my hair up because it's just so hot. But I'm wearing um, a fairly recent make which is the Zaidi play suit um, and it's by Paper Theory and it's um, the first um, Zaidi um, jumpsuit play suit I've made um, and, I, and I really love it and I've made it in this um, viscose linen blend from Lady McElroy which I got from Minerva. Um, and um, yeah, it's just, I've just worn it so much this summer already and I only made it sort of three or four weeks ago. It's lovely, it's got, it's got quite roomy armholes, so it's lovely and loose for this weather. And I'll put a picture up of me um, so you can see the full length of it. It's got a lovely tie waist um, and a beautiful bias binding detail around the front here. And yeah, it's just keeping really cool in this very hot weather. So that's what I'm wearing today. Um, but yeah, um, so today's vlog is all about a collaboration um, I've got planned um, and um, it's been a bit of time coming because I think I first talked about this collaboration in May and then lots of um, life got in the way really so finally um, it's getting around to it which I'm really looking forward to. So I'm going to be working with Liz um, who's the baker that sews and she's got her own um, YouTube channel and she's also on Instagram under the baker that sews and she's just she's just really lovely and um, we got on really well um, so we're often chatting on Instagram and um, I love her style she's um, got lovely colourful style um, lots of beautiful dresses she always tries out new patterns I'm always um, looking at what she's wearing thinking I want to try that pattern I want to try that pattern so um, she gives me lots of inspiration so she suggested um, we do a collaboration because I'd really enjoyed um, watching the collaboration she did with Cara from So So Mad and they both um, made and hacked slightly the Alexa jumpsuit by Tilly and the Buttons and I said oh I really enjoyed watching that and she said hey well, why don't we do a collaboration I thought oh, I'd love to do that so um yeah as I said we thought about it back in May and then um and then it was just busy as one thing or another and um, now it's summer holidays for her because she's a teacher and um and I've got into a bit more of a flow of the whole children being at home all the time so I've got a bit more time too so it works really well to do it now so for our collaboration, Liz and I decided we both work on the same pattern. And the pattern we both decided to work on is this one here. It's the Calais Shirt and Shirt Dress by Closet Core Patterns. Um, so they used to be Closet Case Patterns, as you can see the name here, but their company's recently rebranded to Closet Core Patterns. Um, and this is one of their iconic patterns, I think. Um, I, I've seen a lot of people make this, uh, a lot of different versions, and it's one you can really have a lot of fun with. So I'll talk you through a little bit about this pattern. There are three different... Um, versions you can make and you can kind of mix and match different features from them. The first one, view A, is a cropped version um, and it is it does come up quite quite cropped and it's got a, a mandarin collar and then a sort of extra and wide hem which is a nice detail and this version here shows a hidden placket, that's one of the placket options. And then version B is a tunic length, um, tunic length um, shirt so I think it'll probably be a bit too short to wear and um, without some sort of bottom covering like leggings and um, it's got the full collar and the popover placket. And then and a, sort of a slightly dipped hem at the back. They've all got a dipped hem feature, which I think is quite a nice feature and a bit different. And then um, view C is a, the shirt dress. Um, it does come up on the shorter side for a shirt dress, but it, I think it's designed to be worn um, on its own without the need for kind of leggings or any other trousers. Um, and this one here shows, the, again, the full collar. And this is a full length placket, but not a hidden placket. And also a little pocket here, which is a nice detail with a little V, v here. And then the back's got a yoke. All the versions have a yoke. And there's two different ways you can... Um, Finish it, um, two different types of back bits, and I'll, I'll show you a bit more detail about, about those in a moment. But so those are just options. There's quite a lot of flexibility in the pattern, so you can be quite creative and choose different bits of it. And um, I've actually made this pattern twice, and you'll have seen my versions if you've watched my previous makes vlogs. So I was just going to talk you through um, how I've used the pattern before, and um, before I talk about what my plans are this time. So the first version I made was this one here. And this is... Um, the fabric I used was a um, yarn dyed navy blue and white gingham fabric, it's cotton, and it was from Sew Me Sunshine, and um, this is the um, dress length version, so if I show you down here, it's all the way down here, and I really enjoyed playing with the um, gingham on this, so I used um, the gingham to make a really pretty bias bound hem at the bottom, and then I also changed it to diamond shape on the yoke, and on the cuffs, and on the popover placket. So I did the puff over flacket for this version because I had never done one of those before and I wanted to have a go. Oh, it's a bit fiddly, 
but very enjoyable and I quite like the look and then I've also got the pocket on this version too um, so that's there and I did the full collar as well and I'll put a picture up of me wearing it so you can see the full version and um, I, I really that was my first version of it oh one more thing actually <laughs> this is the back I, I did the two pleats here so the box pleat version at the back so you can see that like that um, and I really enjoyed making it. I always find the closet core patterns have really great instructions. It really walked me through the popover placket um, and um, the collar and all those details. And um, I really enjoy wearing this one, particularly with leggings, because it does come up on the shorter side. Um, so maybe if I made another one of that, I might lengthen it a little bit more. But um, particularly because the way the he hem is, it comes up quite high at the sides here. Um, but yeah, I, I really love it. It's really comfy. The fabric's lovely and soft. And I think it's quite classic in gingham. So that was my first version I made. And then I made one more version, which is this one here. And this is um, the opposite. I went for the, the, the cropped version for this one. And I made this in this um, beautiful broderie anglais fabric. It came again from Semi Sunshine. And it's got embroidered daisies all over it. I thought that was lovely and a bit different. Um, so this is the crop version. I did actually lengthen, lengthen it by a couple of inches um, and because I think I thought it was going to come up super cropped and now it just sits um, just above my jeans, which is quite where I like it to sit. Um, so with this version, I did the, the sort of a, the sort of inverted V um, back pleat, so different, just to try something different. I thought it would suit the shorter version better. And then I've got the extra a wide hem and I quite like because this fabric's slightly sheer that the, 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 the pocket and their extra wide hem um, make it a bit more opaque so it kind of plays with the fabric a little bit I think that's quite pretty and I did the mandarin collar for this one and also the hidden placket and this was my first time also making a hidden placket um, and so it's a lot of buttons under there so that was um, a good new skill to learn too um, the lighting's a bit tricky because the white kind of picks up the light a bit too much but again I'll put a picture of me wearing this one there um, and I've worn this one too I really like both of them so when Liz um, suggested we um, work with this pattern I thought oh yeah I'd like to do that I've still got some more ideas buzzing around my head for what I'd like to do for another version um, so once Liz and I decided on the pattern we were going to use I had the fairly fun task of starting to think about what fabric I might want to use for my version um, so on the pattern Closet Core gives quite a wide range of fabric options it says that Calais would be suitable for light to medium weight wovens and shirting such as poplin, chambray, tensile, linen, rayon, chalet, crepe de chine, voile, or is it voile? I never know, and flannel. So that's quite a big range of options. I don't have a very big um, stash of fabric um, ready to kind of use. Um, so I, I had a little look, I've only got a few items in there and they, mostly I have plans for them because I'm not a big fan of buying too many fabrics without plans because then it stresses me out a little bit um, having a too much sitting there and I, I, I just find it a bit overwhelming um, so yeah I, I'm not a big um, fabric stasher <laughs> so I didn't have anything that was suitable already so I started to have a look online so I started to consider what sort of fabric I'd like to look for um, for this version of the Calais um, and initially I considered um, a rayon or a viscose um, something drapier because I thought it would lend a different aspect to the Calais and I do enjoy working with those fabrics and how they create a different sort of silhouette um, but then I thought a little bit further and I thought actually what I think I'll go for is a lightweight cotton um, because firstly um, I think for a shirt it adds a little bit more structure and I quite like the look that gives that little bit more structured look and secondly um, I thought for summer um, you can't be a lightweight cotton for breathability and with the collar and with the little cuffs around the sleeves I thought it would just add a little bit more breathability and I'm hoping to get some wear out of my version this summer if we have the nice weather continuing so I decided I'd go out and have a look for a lightweight cotton of some sort of lawn or a voile, voile, however you <laughs> say that one so I had to look online and on a few different websites and I found one particular fabric that I really like the look of and it was available on a couple of websites and then I felt quite lucky because I spotted that Harriet at Semi Sunshine was selling a remnant piece of it. And um, remnants are often quite a good deal because they've got a bit of a discount on the, um, the full price. And, um, and it was just about the right amount of fabric I was looking for. So I snapped it up and I had a discount code too, so I was really pleased. And then I'll show you the fabric now. There's this one here. It's a, um, so as you can see, it's a sort of quite a large scale feather print and it's by Lady McElroy. And it's got sort of, a, I think it's maybe a white or maybe a slightly off-white base um, with, with really pretty sort of a peachy pink feathers on it. So it's got a little bit of drape to it. Um, it's a bit crumpled because I've washed it, but yeah, it's got a little bit of drape to it. And what I also like about it is it's opaque, which is quite nice. It's, it's lovely quality. I've worked with Lady McElroy um, fabrics a few times. This is obviously made out of a, this is a Lady McElroy viscose linen blend. Um, but they're always such nice quality. And this is a lovely soft cotton. It's really lightweight, but as I said, opaque. So um, um, I think it's really beautiful. 
Um, and the colour and um, the style is not necessarily what I'd normally go for. I don't usually go for such a large scale print and I wouldn't necessarily say I'm a, really a kind of peachy pink person but I thought while well, I'm working with Liz on this collaboration, um, The Baker That Sews, and, and she um, has such a lovely use of colour, she chooses such bright colours, such happy colours, so I thought I'll push myself out of my normal um, colour palette, um, inspired by her. And I also thought she um, is also the queen of prints, um, she picks the, the most fantastic prints, so I thought well I'm going to go for a different type of print, um, Surely the point of a collaboration is to be inspired by the other sewist and kind of push each other a little bit further to kind of maybe make something, yeah, a bit different to what you normally make. So um, I'm really pleased with it and I can't wait to work with it and I'm sure it'll be lovely to work with. Um, so um, I, I won't um, go into too much detail about exactly what I've got planned and which version of the Calais um, I'm going to make. I'm still not entirely decided on all the details um, myself. Obviously, as I said before, there are so many different options with the different plackets, the different backs and the different collars. I'm really looking forward to having a go of it though. Um, I think the time frame for us um, to do this collaboration is we're going to be working on it during the month of August um, and hopefully we'll be revealing it at the end of August. So um, I can't wait to see what Liz is going to make. I don't know anything about her plans at all, um, fabrics or not anything. Um, so I'm really looking forward to what she'll do because I'm sure she'll make something absolutely beautiful. And um, so I'm looking forward to showing you all um, what I've made later this month. So I'll be busy sewing with it. Um, so thank you so much for watching and listening to um, me talk about my first collaboration because I was a little bit nervous about doing something different. So um, I hope you've enjoyed hearing about my plans. And um, if you've enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, then please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you are notified when the um, reveal comes out, as well as my other future vlogs. Um, and thank you again for watching, and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye-bye.